Detroit's Trinity International Film Festival is celebrating its 13th year showcasing the work of independent filmmakers from around the world. This year's event takes place August 14th through the 18th at the Marlene Ball Theater in the downtown YMCA. The festival is going to screen 67 films. Joining me now is the director of the film festival, Marcelle Montgomery Favors, along with three of the filmmakers whose works are being screened, Kenneth Nelson, uh, Jazara Riches, and Kevin Tate. Welcome, everyone, to American Black Journal. Thank you Thank for you having for us. That. So, Marcelle, we do this every year. Every uh -huh. year we get you on uh, to talk about the film festival. 13 years now that you've been doing it. Tell us why we should be excited about uh, this year. Well, thank you again for having us yeah. um, and being able to talk about the festival. Um, but it's been such a, a journey and a passion for the past 13 years. And as you mentioned, we have 67 films, 18 countries. Um, the filmmakers are coming from um, all around the world and from the United States. And of course, we always have to highlight our Detroit Detroit filmmakers. films, right? Yeah. Yes, and this year it's really exciting too because we have a uh, special segment called the Fearless Tribe of Fanatic Filmmakers that features um, all Detroit um, filmmakers. Okay. And, uh, and we also are honoring those in the community that are helping to build Detroit's independent film community. And we have something called the Trinity Film Honors. And we have five honorees this year. Yeah. Uh, I always ask you this, but, but I'll ask you again this year. How, how do you start... Uh, choosing the oh films for a festival like this, like where do you start, and how do you get to to 67 uh, by the time you're you're done? It's tough. It, it, it's really tough. But I don't do it by myself. Yeah. We have uh, a team that of jurors that um, watch every. We watch every single film that comes uh, in, and the selection process. We get we average about 300 like films, yeah. and to get them down, I promise you, every year. They have to kick me out of the judging room because I'm like, just one more film. <laughs> um, and so, and we have uh, a rating system from one to 10. And um, uh, at the Trinity Film Hours, we actually have, um, uh, it's going to be presented by like Uncle Nearest, who's um, selecting a film in particular that uh, scored like, like 10 out of 10, like in, in every wow. uh, category. And so, and, but the thing is, is that we have, Everyone from student filmmakers and uh, some who are um, emerging, and then some are more, more seasoned. And yeah. we like to showcase um, the filmmaker's journey. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be, you know, like a 10 to make it into the festival, um, but we like to embrace, uh, basically, it, it narrows down to the story. Like, does that story um, grab me? Do we think that our audience is gonna enjoy it? Yeah. And um, sometimes you may have a great film. It didn't mean that it didn't meet the criteria. We just may not have had the room, you know, in our lineup, yeah. just like that that film for this year. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, uh, tell me about your films. Uh, Kevin, I'm going to start with you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Kevin. Uh, I have a movie called Famous. It is a hip-hop comedy. We call it the world's first hip-hopity. Uh, <laughs> I like that. And, uh, <laughs> in, in Famous, uh, my character who plays the rapper, and my best friend is the is the producer. We we concoct a scheme to get a record deal, but getting famous just doesn't turn out the way we plan. <laughs> I, there's a TV show that's a little like that, right? Uh, Atlanta is kind of about that same something, that same something subject. Like that. Yeah, yeah that's you cool. know you know it's a, we're we're a musically inclined people. Yeah, so, right. You know. <laughs> that's right. We love that, right? Uh, Jazar, what's your film? Um, I have a film called Hot. Mm -hmm. And this film is about um, a black couple that was on their way to an award ceremony, and they're pulled over nice by a white that. cop Real as well as a black cop, and they're pulled out, pulled over no, for a broken tail light, uh, so it seems. And they also fit the description of a crime that they may or may not have committed. Wow. So. Wow. And then what happens? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch it for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch the film with you. Watch it to find out what happens. <laughs> wow, that, that's. So. I mean, that's a great topic for for right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a thing that's. Uh, on everybody's mind, uh, Sally. <laughs> how we how we interact with law enforcement, right? Right. Yeah. Um, Kenneth, what's your yeah. film? Yes, my uh, film is called Sincerely Brenda. Uh, it's a family drama. Uh, it's about a, a father who was out of his son's life. He has two sons, and 
he was out of their lives for about 20 years uh, because of a an accident sent him away. Mm. And uh, they're all forced back together over a weekend when um, the mother passes. And so they're off, you know, they have to address some, some things that happened in their past that they're dealing with. You know, they have to, to face these things and forgive some of these things to move on. So it's really a story about forgiveness and redemption. Uh, powerful story. I mean, it's really been, been getting emails and things from people that are saying how, how they have watched the film and they reached out to family members and friends that they needed to forgive something or, wow. you know, and, and it's, it's, it's been, been doing really well. Yeah. Uh, I want the three of you to also talk about um, what it's like to be, you know, an independent or a small filmmaker uh, in, in Detroit uh, at, at this point. Obviously, the, the festival, Trinity, is, is a big boost to you, but, but, uh, but what's that like? And, uh, you know, is there enough opportunity, really, uh, to make these films, Kenneth? Yeah, I mean, it's being an indie filmmaker, it is difficult. You know, a lot of times it's the lack of resources, um, financial resources. Uh, but, you know, we always find a way. Yeah. Like, you know, for, for my film, uh, had a great group of people. You know, my partner, Sean Vaughn, like, we, we've done shorts together, many shorts, so we kind of learned, we, we sharpened our, you know, I guess, <laughs> swords, I guess, whatever, doing these short films, and we decided to make a feature film. And we got a great team together, people that sacrifice. So it's finding the right people that yeah. believe in the story, that are willing to sacrifice their time, you know, and, and sometimes it's money to put a piece together. But, you know, we, we didn't have all the resources, but we said we're going to do it by any means necessary. And so yeah. a lot of times that's what indie filmmakers do, by yeah. any means necessary. You yeah, know, right. great Spike Lee. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I Bizarre. totally agree with uh, Kenneth. Um, a lot of times it's about being really creative, mm -hmm. you know, um, sometimes you have to substitute certain things for certain things to still get your point across. <laughs> um, especially like, you know, when you're dealing with a cop car and mm -hmm. things of these natures, you're not just going to go DPD to the train and give you something. Yeah, can we just borrow the car, you know? <laughs> so, but, um, but then you find sources, people that can make um, decals or different things to totally make your whole car look a certain way. And I believe Detroit people are very creative. Like, yeah. I've seen great films, and you're like, well, where did you get that? And they're like, oh, we just made it. And you're like, really? <laughs> it, you know, right. so it's about being creative. Um, and like you said, the people, you know, opportunities like this, having a film festival right here in your home, these type of things actually yeah. keeps us going. Mm -hmm. And so we just appreciate the people that put forth the effort to keep the indie film things going. Yeah. So. Kevin? Yeah, uh, one of the things I was going to say I really like about the Michigan acting scene, and I think it's about the acting scene in general, it's like we're like a family, uh -huh. you know. Mm -hmm. When we bond on set, we, we, we become more than just friends and those are the people that sacrifice for you and those are the people that really help you bring the dream to life. A lot of directors boast about how many actors want to work with them and they hold it over actors heads but in my opinion the actors make they make everything they without them you don't have anything so i just like to thank my team you know my guys who helped me make this dream come true yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and for me one of the things i want to point out is the fact that these directors are creating opportunities for other actors for other people for right. other producers for so and and they're contributing to this film community that we have in metro detroit yeah yeah. Uh, when you think of the three themes in your films, um, I mean, you could tell me what those themes were, and I wouldn't, if I couldn't see you, I could still say these are all black films, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they, they resonate with, uh, yeah. with the things that, uh, that black people not just are dealing with, but in some cases are celebrating and, and kind of enjoy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's it's a beautiful thing, though. I mean, I, I like to enjoy. It. You know, I, I like to laugh a lot. So we, my, me and myself, my partner and Mushad Moore, uh, who couldn't be here today because there wasn't enough chairs. But um, <laughs> he, he uh, could have got more he, chairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we we like to enjoy. You know, and and just really act a fool. So yeah. I, I'm grateful to be a part of such an esteemed panel of people because I'm like just a. Silly dude in the corner <laughs> telling jokes. I can't wait to see this film. <laughs> uh, how do you come up with subjects, though, uh, Lazar? I mean, that's a this is a this is a pretty controversial subject that it your is. film is. And I've been feeling it, so <laughs> has been some backlash. And, yeah. But it's also been a lot of positive um, response to it. But you know, um, like like much like himself, I usually do comedy. Yeah. But during this time period was like we need to focus on things that we can actually put out a message yeah. and message in the sense of controversial of what's going on in black people lives today yeah. so that's more so where that topic came from um, but 
on an average, I kind of try to stay lighthearted more so, like, you know. <laughs> so, but, yeah. And Kenneth, your, your <clears throat> film has deep emotional content, which I think yeah. is is sometimes missing from a lot of black films. Uh, people don't yeah. want to go there. Yeah, no, I, I grew up watching a lot of films. Um, and one thing that I didn't see was complex emo emotional complexity with the black characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I grew up seeing emotional complexity in my father and my uncles. And, and I wanted to see that on screen. And so the, the main driver was to create the story with the father and his sons. And you see, I, I believe that everyone's born uh, good. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. circumstances shape who they are. And so a lot of times we judge people based on what we see and there's more under the surface. And so I wanted to create a film where you see like they made certain decisions that weren't good, but this is why they made the decisions. And so you can empathize with them and begin and say, okay, wow, I didn't realize that person was going through that. And we don't see that a lot in, in the black, I didn't see that a lot in black films. My actors did an amazing job. You know, it wasn't an easy script to communicate, to communicate emotion, you yeah, know, yeah, no. and they did an amazing job. Congratulations and uh, we'll look forward to uh, the Film Festival. Thanks Thank for being so here. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Yeah.